my answer to this question, and maybe it's going to sound like a bit of a cop out, because honestly, if it were up to me, I think I would strongly consider trading both Gary and Fred. Okay. Because as I have said to Cash before, I think the way that I am conceptualizing this, looking at the rest of this season and toward the future, is the goal should be to maximize the competitive window where ideally the primes of Siakam and Barnes overlap. Okay. And I don't know when exactly that's going to happen, but you hope that there's going to be a scenario, a couple year window maybe where Pascal's still in his prime and Scotty is kind of entering his sure. And OG could be there as well and be part of that. But in order to maximize that, I think what they need is like a legitimate lead guard. And Fred is a fantastic complementary guard who I think under the right circumstances could still fit that core mm -hmm. exceptionally well. But I don't know that you can actually like there is there a path to acquiring that type of lead guard with Fred still around in terms of like the cap sheet, but also like the assets that would be required to go and get that player. That's what I'm not sure about. So if you're thinking about, you know, a couple of contracts that you might not want to pay beyond this season, and then also, you know, if you're if you're not willing to pay them. Do you just try and get what you can for those guys right now? I would think about trading both of them, getting as much back as you can in terms of prospects, draft capital, and being as well equipped as you can possibly be to like make that godfather offer for whatever type of, you know, Donovan Mitchell type of lead guard becomes available in the future. Like that's, you want to have that type of player to pair with Siakam and Barnes and maybe mm -hmm. Ananobi moving forward. The answer then, if you are only going to trade one of them, is which one can you get more for? That's it. Yeah. I don't know. I don't know the answer to that, but that's that's what it comes down to. Do you think teams might look at it like Fred has also? He's won a championship. He's shown to be a positive presence in your locker room, right? Um, he has shown to uh, be successful both on and off ball. Off ball this year less so, but I think in the past, obviously, he's been very successful off ball. Do you think that? they see that and value that more than right now, which is obviously Gary shooting a lot better than Fred. I guess it depends on the team. Okay. Um, but in a lot of situations, I would say, yeah, probably they would. Mm -hmm. uh, Gary's also quite a bit younger. Yeah. And maybe sure. teams view him as being on the upswing, whereas Fred is maybe... It, it almost looks like he's on the downswing a little bit. Just yeah, on the outside which looking at I, I I think the shooting, I keep saying this and it keeps not happening, but I do think eventually the shooting will rebound. Yeah. But in terms of, you know, the point of attack defense, things like that, like, I don't know. I think it's very possible that we have seen Fred Van Vliet play his best basketball already. And that doesn't mean that he's going to fall off completely mm. and that this, what we've seen from him this season is his new baseline, his new normal. But I, I think teams wouldn't necessarily be wrong to view it that way and think that there's a little bit more upside yeah. long term with Gary there than there is with Fred. Now, I think Fred is a much more complete player overall. If I was a team chasing a championship right now, Fred is the guy that I would look to acquire. Mm -hmm. But uh, again, I think it's, it, it totally depends on the team and sort of how, like this is just completely off the top of my head, but, and I don't think uh, necessarily either of those guys are, are the type of player that a team like the Grizzlies would look to acquire. But I think that's a team where, yeah, they're competing right now, but also their core is young. And so right. maybe they would think of Gary as the type of player who could grow with that core more so than Fred. Um, and again, I don't think that's the type of team that's sure. going to be looking. Sure, they already have Desmond Bain, yeah. But I just mean like a, a team with a, a bit of a longer runway, whereas yeah. like, I don't know, the Lakers who could potentially talk themselves into getting back into that competitive mix this season, I think they might prioritize somebody like Fred who has that championship experience, who does really know how to play off ball and could be a great compliment to LeBron James. You know, like that's, that's why I say it, it kind of depends on the team and what their priorities are in the short and long term.